So how do the pumpkins look? Well, pretty pathetic. I was thinking maybe we might have something big enough to enter in the Harvest Festival this year, but unless they're giving out awards for the weirdest looking vegetable, we might as well forget it. Well, they're not the biggest pumpkins I've ever seen in my life, but, well, they're definitely very interesting. Face it, Grandpa, I am worthless as a gardener. <laughs> Nobody's worthless, Drea. Everybody and everything has some glorious purpose. I bet you these babies that win raves in a pumpkin pie. Well, I hate to tell you this, but I'm an even worse cook than I am a gardener. Besides, one stupid pumpkin isn't gonna matter anyway. Dre, you see that little sparrow up there? Yeah. You think he matters to God? Well, sure, I guess. God cares about how big these pumpkins grow and about how high that sparrow flies. And not one will fall to the ground apart from the will of your father. So everything I do matters to him, right? Everything. So, Grandpa, how do you like your pumpkin pie? Ice cream or whipped cream? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Standing for that science test. Grab her feet. You get her slippers. Science? I've never seen her this interested in science. Yeah. Well, ever since she decided she wanted to win the summer internship with the Environmental Society. Well, you know, once she gets it in her head to do something, she has to try. Yeah. Science isn't her strongest subject. You're only choosing one person out of the whole Oops, school. Door. All I know, she's got her heart set on this internship. She's depending on it to boost her self-esteem. Well, how could she need more self-esteem? She's got friends at school, at church. She's a good student. She's even lost weight with this new exercise program. She's got plenty of self-esteem. Yeah, well, when you're a teenager, sometimes it feels like you never have enough. OK, honey, you're on your own. Drea, you going to make it? Hydrogen, nitrogen, and other elements occurring in biological interaction. Yo, Drea, slow down. You can't be scientific on an empty stomach. Hey, how about a quick EM squared? Toaster, what are you talking about? You know, English muffin, split down the middle. EM squared. <laughs> oh, good shooting. No butter. Good. I'm still watching my calories. Calories. The amount of heat required to raise one gram of water one degree. Ooh, sounds complicated. I'm glad all I ever have to remember is light, lighter, and dark. Or is that dark, lighter, and light? Oh, it's enough to make you blow a fuse. Dear Electronic Diary, ED, everything I do is turning into a science project including yesterday's lunch. Yuck. Are you ready? 
Are you ready for great news? That depends. Does it have a mold on it? I have just been named activities editor for the Hampton Falls Junior High Herald. Editor already? But I thought only the guys in journalism class could do that. They did. Until me. I can't believe it. I'm an editor, the youngest one ever. And not just an editor, the activities editor. Free passes to all the games and even ninth grade dances. Can you imagine what this is going to do for my popularity quotient? The possibilities are astounding. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, what about you? When do you hear about the internship? Well, the letter should be here any day. Isn't it funny how the things you wait for never seem to show up when you want them? And the things you'd like to avoid just keep showing up again and again. Hello, Arlene. Hi, Arlene. You may as well face it, Drea. Even though you'd be a perfect specimen for coastal pollution, you'll never get that internship. Because George Easton has it all sewn up. George applied for it, too? Well, of course he did. George is a natural-born scientist, unlike some people who just think they are. Uh, but let's talk about something really impressive. Arlene was in Miss Junior Hampton Falls last Saturday night. Well, congratulations, Arlene. Yeah, I think I read about that in the newspaper. Crime section, wasn't it? <laughs> Very funny. It's actually quite an honor with many prestigious personal appearances. Oh, as a matter of fact, besides presiding as queen of the fall festival, I have front row seats to the Billy Holden concert at the college. And then I get to meet him backstage, personally. Billy Holden? You're going to meet him? I would give anything just to be in the same auditorium with him. Well, sorry. The concert sold out in two hours. No more tickets left, except for those of us with connections. Sold out? Drea, do you think your dad could get some faculty seats? Do you think Arlene wins everything because she's thin and blonde? <laughs> well, she didn't win on personality. <laughs> Forget about her. What's really going on? You're bummed about George, huh? It just never occurred to me that he'd apply for the internship. I just can't believe he didn't tell you. Ah, you never know what those mad scientist types are thinking. Ah, Drea Thomas is doomed! How dare she challenge me? Me, with my superior knowledge of science! I shall utterly crush every shred of hope Drea Thomas has of winning the internship. Her self-worth will be the size of a tiny little pea, or even smaller, the size of her tiny little brain! Ah! 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 <laughs> what? Did you apply for the science internship? Well, yeah. How could you? I don't believe it, George. Why would you do this to me? What? What did I do? This whole George thing really bums me out. But at least I can look forward to a nice, calm babysitting gig with Matt and Rebecca. Come on, Dwayne, let me show you. Maybe later, Matt. I'm kind of tired right now. Karate's easy. All you got to do is concentrate. Right. What's wrong with this picture? You can't make fun of me anymore. Ha! I'm your sister. I can do anything I want. OK, guys. Here's yours. Thanks, Dre. Yours? Thanks, Dre. I thought I heard you kids come in. Mom, what are you doing home so early? Well, Did the I... mail come? Yeah, I put yours upstairs. Oh, uh, Drea, I have to talk to you for a minute, alone. Oh, sure, Mom. Why don't you guys go on up to my room and do your homework, OK? OK. Come on, come on, come on. Don't chop anything. Oh, what good is learning karate if you can't chop anything? Come on, Matt. Okay, what's going on? I lost my job. What? Drea, I was fired. You're kidding. Fired? Whoa. What did Dad say? Well, I've been trying to call him, but he's been in faculty meetings all day. I don't... I don't believe it. What happened? I'm not sure. I handed in a new marketing plan this morning, and this afternoon I got this memo in my box that said the store was downsizing. 
That's a nice way of saying they're keeping only those people they think are very important, and I guess I'm not one of them. Mom, I'm, I'm so sorry. My whole staff was let go, too. I feel even worse for them. All those people lost their jobs, and I keep thinking it's my fault. Maybe I didn't run the department well enough, and now everybody who worked for me is paying for it. No way, Mom. You were the best employee Jameson's ever had. Well, thanks, honey. But uh, after all this time, all I got was this. I'm two weeks severance pay. It's hard to believe I'm going to wake up tomorrow with no place to go. Oh, Mom. It'll be all right. Come here. That's what happened. Oh, Drea. Your poor mom. Yeah, she's worked so hard for Jameson's for years and years, and all they gave her was a letter. What you gonna do? I don't know. I'm sorry, Drea. Thanks, Matt. I know! Watch me break a chair! That'll cheer you up! Here, Drea, it's a real letter from somebody. Maybe this will take your mind off things. Oh, it's from the Environmental Society. It's my letter, guys. Ooh. Dear Miss Thomas, thank you for applying for a summer internship. We're sorry to inform you that you were not selected for admission at this time. Oh. Mm. You know, we shouldn't be doing this. This is all the stuff you're not supposed to eat when you're feeling depressed. It only makes things worse. That's OK. I'll make up for it with exercise. Instead of jogging around the track, I'll just jog around the entire state. I'm sorry about your internship, honey. Me too. I worked really hard. I guess they didn't see it that way. Mm. I know how you feel. Mom, don't worry. You'll get another job. You're the best. Well, thanks, sweetie. But now is not a good time to be job hunting. You know, my friend Martha's been at it for six months. Still hasn't found anything. It's a really tough market out there. I'm going to put my classified ads. Oh. All right. What's burning? The popcorn. Oh. Oh. Some science brain I am. I nuked the popcorn. Aw, oh, come on, Drea. Cheer up. Look at the bright side. Every burned piece of toast has a chrome lining. This is popcorn. Well, it was popcorn. You know, if you spend your whole life trying to toast bagels, you may never realize that what you do best is frozen waffles. Hey, wait a minute. I think you might have crossed a few wires there. That actually made sense. Hmm, I'd better get that fixed. Oh, very cute. I wonder if they can spell saturated fat. Hey! Oh, 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 looks like the calorie club's having a big meeting. Can anybody join? Sure, but I just burnt the main course. Oh, charred popcorn. Such an inviting aroma. Oh, honey, I'm sorry I didn't call you back, but I didn't get your message, so I was walking out the door. So I thought I'd come on home, and we could talk in person. Drea, I got your message, too, about the Billy Holding concert, but... You know, all the faculty seats were reserved before the student tickets even went on sale, so I'm sorry. Yeah, well, it figures it's just the perfect ending to a truly lousy day. Oh, it can't be that bad, can it? You, you first. first. Well, Dad, the Environmental Society labeled me extinct. Oh, Drea, I'm sorry. So that's, uh, that's why we're having junk food, huh? Oh, there's more. It can't be that bad. Wow, it is that bad. Mm.